What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing my exploration of Skyrim dungeons that people probably have overlooked or forgotten. This time it is a fort. Fort Neugrad, to be specific. Fort Neugrad is located southwest of the Falkarif Stormcloak camp and northeast of South Fringe Sanctum. You can walk down paths and mountains to get to the fort from these locations. As always, hard save when you come upon a new location. This fort will more than likely be inhabited by bandits. Let's find out. For the most part, these bandits are going to be lightly armored and armed, with a few magic users. Fort is also laid out in a very compartmentalized setup, meaning there are multiple areas you will have to enter and explore. The exterior, you can run around and hunt down all the bandits before you actually start entering the fort. Let's take a look at the fort from the top of this watchtower. As you can see, there's a main fortification, and there are several other smaller locations. This fort is actually located in a very beautiful area, and there is a freshwater lake over here somewhere that has an entrance into the fort. But let's go back down and explore the fort. Okay, I'm going to play with the maps here a little bit and show you the layout of the fort. There's your current location, there's Fort Neugard, there's Fort Neugard Prison, and then down here is the Fort Neugard. These are the main entrances to the fort, so let's start exploring. I apologize for the occasional fast forward, let's get into the main part of the fort here. I've just entered the main fort and there's bandits everywhere, let's start fighting. You picked a bad guy. <laughs> Let's see what's behind door number one. 
Oh, bandits. Now wait, this is a surprise. <laughs> Well, I've stumbled upon the bandit chief kind of quickly. There's the bandit's journal, keys, whatever. I'm going to take all this stuff and sell it. And let's see what's in the master chest. I decide to explore the room first. Now let's see. Gold, boots, and a robe. Hey, that wasn't too bad. When you enter into any dungeon or fort, it's always good to kind of explore all the little nooks and crannies because you never know what you'll find. Valuable books and other stuff. Again, I'm going to do some sporadic fast forwarding because walking around and exploring and looking for stuff is kind of boring. Thought I heard something. My policy on found weapons, whether it's in a dungeon or on enemies, not iron or steel, unless they're magic, and, well, sometimes if they're just plain unique. Since I'm in the main dining hall, I'm going to grab these two full wheels of cheese, I have this thing about gathering up wheels of cheese on adventures and just kind of stacking them up. This guy, Brandish, is obviously a secondary boss. Take him down, and let's see what he has. Um, this is why I use electrical modifications on my weapons. You run into a lot of magic users in Skyrim, and so 
cutting down on their magic with electric, great way to deal with things. Okay, let's see what this chest has. Amethyst, gold, book, ring. Not a bad haul for an expert lock. Okay, after a quick fast forward through the fort for other stuff, um, I'm going to go to this ladder to get to the top of the main fort. Okay, now that we're on top of the fort, let's give you a better view of this natural little lake here and the area around the fort, which is kind of tucked into a hidden area. Let's see what's in this chest here first. Let's see, a soul gem, a treasure map, gold, potion of ultimate healing. Um, again, this fort is kind of tucked away in the middle of nowhere and it has some really beautiful views it's kind of a nice little forgotten fort that very few people look at and i can kind of show you some ways where it is and if we can kind of look at i'm gonna here find the map and show you as i said it's tucked away in a nowhere area and it's kind of forgotten because people don't come along this area and it's near south fringe sanctum you have to look downhill from there in order to get to this fort now let's go back into the fort and continue to explore Since I cleared out the main fort, I'm just going to fast forward and get us to another location. Okay, we're outside and let's walk over to the Fort Neu Neuergard prison, which is right over here. And let's see what's inside of the prison. Okay, since I've done this dungeon without sneaking around, I'm going to continue on clanking about and bashing in some heads. I'm going to go down into the prison rather than up the ladder. Apparently the prison's basement has a basement. Let's take a look. Okay, this is obviously the secret underwater entrance that leads in from the lake. I'm going to get us back to another location by fast forwarding. Okay, now that we're out of the prison, let's go up the ladder and see what's going to happen. Okay, since we're obviously on top of a tower that's connected to the rest of the dungeon, probably be a good idea to just kind of, you know, go explore the lake, I think.
Yeah, I did a quick jog through the fort. Now we're going to go explore the lake. And let's just dive in. There are two things in Skyrim that I find are extremely useful. One of them is arming your weapons with electrical damage to cut down on magic. And then there is also the whole water breathing thing. There's a lot of water in Skyrim, and water breathing is a very handy, magical thing to have. Now let's take a look at the lake. Okay, this is the obviously underground entrance to Fort Neuergard, or should I say the under lake entrance to the Fort Neuergard prison that we found a while back. And the lake here, it's just really nice, pristine. To be honest with you, there's not a lot of extra stuff to find. It's just kind of a little crater lake, but the rendering in Skyrim is always gorgeous. Well, hey, what can I say? I've just showed you a nice hidden location, Fort Neugard or whatever the pronunciation is. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and thanks for stopping by.